Uh, many people have said that Occupy has not suggested any solutions and it's just doing a lot of protesting. Where do you think Occupy should go? Well, for the moment, I think it's good that we don't because I think it's worrying the hell out of a lot of people in Washington that we're just gathering more and more people that are understanding what the problem is. I believe the problem is money and politics, and I believe the probability of public financing and getting as much money out of the political system as we possibly can is very likely to come about from the July 4th General Assembly, National General, General Assembly in, uh, in Philadelphia. At least I'm very hopeful that something of that comes out. If we don't take the money out of the politics, a French political philosopher said there's only two sets of principles. There's privilege and power, and there's truth and justice. And as one goes up, the other goes down. Our truth and justice is pretty well down to privilege and power in this country, and that's a function of money. We don't have money, but we're going to have an awful lot of people. Well, the people that are in power also have control over campaign financing. How are we ever going to get that to change? Only through a constitutional amendment. That constitutional amendment has to come from the states, request to have a state convention. Did you know there have been 700 and some requests for a state constitutional convention in the last hundred years? We've had a hundred years of Congress denying the constitutional requirement to call such a convention. The likelihood that they can withstand the pressure of millions of people in 50 states demanding that such control be taken out of Congress and provided to the people through the states, I think is a real possibility.